What's up my OGs, it's Teresa Plus 5 and I'm back with another video. Ooh. Today you guys, it's going to be a spend the day with me vlog. I don't know what we're going to do, child, but y'all going to spend the day with me, okay? Because today is Monday, so it's early release for the kids, so I have a short day today. So, yeah. But I will take you guys everywhere I go today, even if that's just in the house. <laughs> No, but for real, y'all. But guess what I got, you guys? Oh, geez. Guess what I have? I have my grandmother's remains. I'm so happy about this. It says, Beloved remains of Leola Merritt Atkins. Temper cremations. Date of death. Time of death, date of cremation, and where it is. And it's in a little box. On the top, it says certificate of cremation for Leola Mary Atkins. And then I have her certificate, y'all. I won't really show that because it has personal information on there, but I do have it. And then, yeah, let's. Let's open it up. I wanted to share this with you guys because um, you guys were her grandkids as well. Her internet grandkids. So, this is how it looks. I got to take it out the box. Hold on, y'all. I had to turn it on this side. So it comes in like a, um, just a little box, not even an urn, but let's open it up. Oh. <laughs> so these are her remains. It's her name. And date of cremation and cremation number. But these are her cremains, you guys. <laughs> Y'all, this is really all I wanted. This is really all I wanted because now I have a piece of her physically. Um, and I'm happy. I'm happy. This is like the, I guess this is, oh yeah. But yeah, this is beautiful, y'all. This is beautiful. I have a piece of my grandma. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. And then show you guys in case you didn't know what, you know, cremation ashes looked like because I didn't know what they looked like either, y'all. They felt kind of, Kind of a little scaly, not quite like sand. Kind of a little hard, but soft too at the same time. I don't know how to describe it, but it's how it looks, y'all. And the ashes don't smell like anything. I already smelled it, y'all. But yeah, this is a piece of my grandma that I always have. I'm gonna buy a vase, so that'll probably be a vlog to go look for her vase and put her in. But I'm glad I do have a piece of her. Um, I cried when I first opened it, y'all, because um, it's very sentimental to me. And um, I'm going to cherish this forever. And I'm glad my aunt decided to, you know, put our differences aside and still give me some of my grandma's remains. That would have been the right thing to do anyway. So I'm happy about that. This is her. <laughs> I love you. I'm gonna get her a nice little vase to put her in. But for now, I'm gonna put her back in this um very standard little black box. Taylor just getting up, y'all. This is his first time seeing him. 
I look like sand from a beach. I know. But it don't smell like sand from a beach. It doesn't smell like anything. I thought it would be like gray. Gray? I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen how ashes look, so I can't really say how they look, but. You mean when I see my ashes on TV shows or something that's gray? Yeah, they'll probably be like uh, cigarette ashes or something like that. Or like gravel. But yeah. So we're going to buy a vase to put her in. What you think? And, uh, to be honest, y'all, I'm still heartbroken. But I think when Taylor meant, you know, that's crazy. That was his first reaction. But I feel like he meant, you know, to go from seeing somebody in their physical form, laughing, talking, you know, watching movies with you giving you allowance, you know, just sharing the love that they gave to your mom, which is me. <laughs> to go from that to just ashes, yeah, that is mind blowing, you know? So I believe that's what he meant. Right, Taylor? Or? Yeah. Is that what you kind of meant? Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's going to take some time to adjust to it, y'all. But I just kind of wanted to intervene and kind of um, give that clarity. But what you think? About like Like that we got some of her remains, at least. Yeah, I'm glad we got some of her names. Yeah. We'll have a part of her. Like, kind of physically. Yeah. And we still got our memories of her, of course, and pictures. I'm going to show them her picture. So, I have her picture up here, you guys. This is my grandma. <laughs> this one, we lived in West Tampa in the projects. <laughs> but yeah it's my grandma mm -hmm. I'm so happy I know it's not her in the physical realm but at least I get to get something yeah <laughs> Y'all, I didn't want any of the stuff out of her house. I didn't want any money. When I knew that she wanted to be cremated, I was like, I want her remains and that's it. That's it. And now I have some, so I feel somewhat complete, somewhat. Cause the, the other half of me just still missing her physical body. So, but her spirit will definitely live on and she will definitely rest in power. Yep. <laughs> like y'all just don't know how much this means to me. Y'all have no idea. I cried at first. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I cried. I was nervous. I was shaking. Me and the kids had opened it earlier. And then I was like, I'm gonna share it with my subscribers. Since y'all her internet grandkids. <laughs> so, yeah. It's 
kind of like I'm happy, but then again, I'm sad as well. Like I'm happy that I got some of her remains, but I'm still sad that she's gone, y'all. And it's definitely gonna take me some time. Some days I may get on the camera and I may be full of joy, happy, energetic. And then other days I may be like this where I'm sad or just wanna be quiet on camera. And I love y'all because y'all actually allow me to do that, like to just be in silence on the camera. Like y'all give me that space, that respect. And I love y'all for that. Yep. <laughs> oh, it is heaven on y'all. Y'all, I gotta take that to school. I gotta take this um internet stuff back to the up store. So, tell you to get this for me. Please. Okay. Go. I'm about to take Taylor to school and take this internet thing back. So, child, they probably don't charge me already for it. You think so, Taylor? They probably gonna charge me for it already. Hopefully they don't. Right. Y'all just give me a little bit of time. Just give me a little bit of time to return y'all the box. Give me like 30 days. Probably like 30 days, please. Or at least a week. It's been a week. <laughs> All right, y'all, we done made it to the up store. All right, let's get this box out of here. Made it to the up store, you guys. P.O. boxes from here? Um, yeah. How much Not are Not P.O. boxes for the post office. It'll be a UPS box. Oh, and I can just come here and get, like, mail or something? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. How much are they? Uh, is it business or personal? Personal. $35 a month, whether you open up for three, six, or 12 months. Okay. If you open up for 12 months, you get three months. Okay. That's cheaper than the post office. Oh, thank you so much. You have a good day. And the box you can throw out on the side of Jersey Mike's. Oh. You have to rebox it in our boxes. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. You have a good day. You too. Thank you. All right. They said I had to throw out the box on the side of Jersey Mike's channel. <laughs> See, that's a trash can right there, but I can't do that. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. This thing. <laughs> All right. Which jersey my thing? This jersey mice right there. And the trash can. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm done with that. The lady said that I can get a post office box from here, from the up store. It's $35 a month. So yeah, I'm gonna get one of those, y'all, because the post office is too expensive. Okay, they too expensive, honey. Hmm. And then she gave me my receipt of returning it. That's the tracking number and reference number. The Chatham Spectrum. As my grandma would say, I finally got that out of my hair. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, and then Spectrum is texting me saying you return equipment and your service has remained unchanged. Okay, so y'all, I came to the Dollar Tree to get some paper towels and show y'all this location. And it's not even the Dollar Tree, it's the Dollar 25 Century. But look at this over here, y'all. They do have a Tampa buffet, but look how it look on the outside. I know you gotta crawl before you walk, but damn. Do I have to do this? <laughs> and you gotta call for reservation? That's crazy. We might, I might take the kids in there, I don't know. But I'm gonna take y'all in here in the meantime, between time. Let's see how they Dollar Tree look. Oh, they hiring, oh, okay. They hiring for cashiers and stalkers in the morning. I might see. Okay. Hi. Let me get a bug in. Over here, they got their Halloween stuff over here. And so, help. Danger, keep out. They got a little Halloween bags, treat bags. Then over here, they got um, the Halloween stuff over here. Little chains and stuff. <laughs> and they have little Halloween buckets to put your candy in. Oh, this is cute. Super glass. Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. It's a Halloween cup. This is cute. Oh, that's fine. I'm gonna put my keys up. Then they got Halloween napkins. This is cute. Halloween plates. Oh, that's cute too. The gift that keeps on giving. Oh, now this is cute. Welcome sign. They got beware. Welcome to our tomb. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What's this? Like a little whatnot? Y'all, my grandma love little whatnots. What is this? Hmm. This chain look like it glow in the dark. And they got a little Halloween paint set. Got a skull. Happy Halloween. They have their fall stuff here. Thankful and blessed. Okay. Then they have their party stuff over here like they do at the other Dollar Tree. Got like little bags right here. Oh, these are the little book bags. I should get a journey one because her other book bag, her little $6 book bag done broke, y'all. But you know, you get what you pay for, child. So this gonna break too, especially with her look, all her books she got, child, it's gonna break. And they got book bags right here too, but that's the boys. And we're gonna keep going around. Oh, so a couple of bowls, okay. All right. So we in the party section, party. Oh, they got the little unicorn things. Happy birthday sash. I didn't even know Dollar Tree had birthday sashes. I didn't even know that. We got gift bags. Okay. Both of these Dollar Trees that I go to, both of them old, y'all. They need to remodel them for real. It's their freezer section. It smells so weird in here. Oh, they got Marie Calmers in here. Some meatloaf and country fried chicken. I didn't know they had that. And this one is chicken alfredo and chicken parmesan. And they have their frozen raw shrimp and fish sticks and pizza bites. Okay. Oh, they got onion rings in here? No, get the f out. New items, new price. $5. God. Hey. Oh wow, this ain't no Dollar Tree. <laughs> new items, new price, four dollars. So this probably four dollars. The little lasagna. Then they have like the little breakfast biscuits. I should get one of these. So two count bottles is it a three dollars? Oh my god. But they do got more stuff. So yeah, they do gotta go up. Oh, they got a sorbet bar? Wow. 
the little Starburst one. <gasps> oh no. I don't know why that's good. Ooh, I should get me and the kids one. The M&M, ooh, now this look good. The kids are like this, because it's cookies and cream and the M&M stuff. And it's now. Um, how much it is, though? I know they even dollar twenty five. They say a dollar twenty five, but you gotta be careful, girl. And they got the Ben and Jerry's ice cream in here, which I'm surprised about. I should get one of them for the kids, but I'm gonna um, go around and then come back I got the little candles up here, little Jesus candles, child. My grandma used to have those in her house. All these little cheap candles, child. Then this the toy section over here, y'all. I ain't really interested in the toy section, child. Mmm, okay. Little dinosaur. Turn the little bug around. <laughs> but yeah they have um what is this bacon oh wow hmm. and they got um some little frozen fruit bars what's this oh ham trimmings oh okay my grandma used to like to get their um pork chops from here well, the other location, but they don't have any. They got the golden. Oh, that's the chicken, though. I don't like the chicken, y'all. They ain't even got none of my beef cut. They done tore up the chicken patties, child. That must be a fan favorite. This egg roll. Keep it moving, honey. Keep it moving. Keep it moving, honey. <laughs> oh, they got pizza here. Michelina's pizza. I ain't even know Michelina sold pizza. Wow. I'm something to do every day. Then they got chicken pot stickers. Hmm. Okay. Then they got uh, breakfast sticks and some sausages. I did not know the Dollar Tree had this. Bubblegum, Mentos, car freshener, air freshener. Mm hmm. Y'all, they got the Wakia water here. And then, look at this, y'all. They got the Warhead Sour Blue Raspberry Soda. I've never seen this before. Wow. <laughs> and they got all their food over here. In the can. Mm -hmm. Oh, they got the mac and cheese Cheetos. Okay, so they got their bowls and plates over here, the glass bowls and plates. They're real cute though. I want to see their kitchen before. Oh, they got the Tupperware here, y'all. Y'all was telling me about that. It's 125 for two containers. That's not bad. I should have got them from here then, but I ain't know they had them. That's why I'm cool. They got all their glasses over here. Mm -hmm. Bachelorette, okay. <laughs> you got the little snacks over here. What's this? Telegrams. Okay. And then they, oh, they got little cups over here and water bottles. This is cute. My kids always need a water bottle, y'all. Always, because they always break. Okay. As usual, they got all these boxes right here. Oh, they got all these boxes right here. Here's all the dish detergent and Ajax. Oh, this is the awesome stuff that I use on my door. I should get some of this for, um, my Ocetamont. Multi-purpose cleaner, citrus, and eucalyptus. Let me see how this smell, y'all. It smell okay, but not the best. Man, which one is this one? Fresh bathroom scent? Let me smell this, y'all. 
Y'all look at this. Peppermint sage dish soap with plant derived ingredients. I've never seen this before. Hmm. Oh, and then they got the cleaning paste, y'all. That's equivalent to the pink stuff that's at Walmart. What's this? Drain freshener tablets. Pine saw. I'm gonna get some pine saw. Yep. And then, oh, I'm gonna get some Fabuloso the lemon kind. That'll smell so good in my house, y'all. They got handy towels. I guess to clean off your car or whatever. And they got like the individual brooms and mop heads. They got scrub hats. That's a bad bomb. Hmm. Then they got a mesh strainer. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Dryer sheets. I was looking for the um chlorine, but they ain't got none here, y'all. I don't have any here. Oh, what's this? Room mist. Oh, okay. I see they selling a lot of that now. I wish they had that chlorine. Oh, hey, go the gloves right here. I need some gloves real bad. Yeah, I'm gonna get a pack. Get some paper towels. I probably should I get bounty or should I get this one? I'm gonna get bounty. And I got their little mop buckets down. Hell yeah. I'm gonna get two of them. They have some more Halloween stuff right here. A little glass with a hand on it. Then they have this little pumpkin thing and decorations up here. A little fake spider. Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> they got sunny delight. <laughs> oh, they got plates too. I need to get some plates. Let's see. They have 30 plates for 125. I think I'll get these. All right, let's see a kitchen decor. What's this, like tile? Oh, this little stuff that go in the bag, I guess. Oh, yeah. And then we have these. Mm. Not really much or nothing. Yeah, not really much or nothing, y'all. Not that I want. Yeah. And they got all their kitchen utensils over here and balloons up there. But this is pretty much it, y'all. They unpackaging stuff right now, so. Mm, I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna go to three. Two. Okay, so you guys, I'm leaving the dollar twenty-five store. <laughs> And I spent eight dollars and six cents on the gloves, the paper plates, the paper towels, the Ajax, and the pine salt. I had stopped at McDonald's to get me something to eat. Thank you so much. I might as well check the mailbox while I'm coming in. No mail. No mail means good news, like my grandma be saying. <laughs> All right, OGs, I done made it back home and I done forgot to get the comment. God, I gotta clean my tub. Okay, so you guys, I have made it back home and now I'm finna check this Amazon wish list cause the kids was like, mom, can we put some stuff on the wish list? And I'm like, yeah. So let's see what they got on this wish list, y'all. And you are free to buy whatever is on the list in addition to it, okay? And thank you guys in advance.
Child, they got a melon toy doctor kit for girls. That must be for Journey. And then they got a cookie play food set. <laughs> they got a stitch necklace, like a best friend necklace. That's probably for Joy. <laughs> Squishmallow, that's probably for Journey. What's this? Kids smartphone for girls, unicorn gifts for girls. Oh, this is like a little phone or something. That's cute. MGA Entertainment, Make It Mini. That's got to be the girls. What's this? Girls. <laughs> they got some boots on here. I wonder who put these on here. Probably Joy. <laughs> oh, wow. And then it's a size five big kid. Girl, not that they know their size of their shoes. <laughs> no wonder why they was asking me. And then Joy, I think she put this pink baseball jacket here. Oh, this got to be Taylor's. Got to be. This is an Xbox controller or something. Child. And this definitely got to be Taylor's. What is this? Taylor. <laughs> what is this? Moco case fit iPad. Girl, you don't even got no iPad. Child. Moco pencil holder. Girl. What you trying to tell me? Oh my God. Now they put an iPad on there. I'm crying, y'all. I am crying so bad. <laughs> okay, so they got an Anne Klein Woman's Premium Crystal Accent Charm Bracelet. That's mine, y'all. <laughs> it's gold. I want that if y'all gonna buy it for me. Thank you. <laughs> and then I put this Marc Jacobs The Bucket. It's a little orange purse. Y'all can buy it or y'all don't have to buy it. This the end of the list, but yeah, y'all. I gotta see what Jeremy and Jill are gonna put on the list because I think Journey, Taylor, and Joy are covered, okay? <laughs> it's safe to say. But if you guys like this Spend the Day With Me vlog, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share the video so we can grow, and also put your notification bells on so you guys can be notified every time I post new content. Cause you gotta ring that bell. Ring that bell, ring that bell. A ding, a ding, a ding. Bye.